Previously, two software engineers started working on a project. It started getting traction, so they quit their jobs to pursue it full time. What are we building? An open source AI powered code editor. It curates the best AI tools all in one to let devs just make what they want to make fast. We recently got funded by a top startup accelerator to join a batch of other founders for two months. At the end of which, there's Demo Day, where we must present our product to investors and they choose to invest in us or not. Our names are Pan and Nang and we're fully building in public. If you enjoy the series, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 48 days left. Oh my god, bro. We're getting canceled. I woke up today. People are saying we stole code. Huh? We four continue and we talked about this multiple times. But apparently, because in this specific tweet, I did not mention it. Even though I tweet like 10 times a week. People are saying, <laughs> purposely <laughs> omitting this. And we're liars and cheaters and scammers. This is absolutely ridiculous. We're getting canceled like Logan Paul right now. So basically, he made this Twitter thread with 1.5 million views right now, and some other made a community post that says, Perry Eyes, they forgive continue. True, that's fine. But it says they use their code and mass replace all references to mislead people into <laughs> believing that they built this product on their own. <laughs> Alright, it's, o it's okay it's right because now. we're too transparent, we're too honest to be dealing with this slander exactly. right now. There's just, there's just no way. But I do think we have like some saving factors like, like in our old video, we literally have publicly supported and recommended continue and said we're for. We're gonna keep this all open source and give continue credit, obviously. I really like their product and their founder is actually really cool, so yeah. Go continue. Yeah, people are telling us not to respond to people on Twitter. Yeah, you know, we already responded to too many people at this point. Like the truth always comes out. We are just trying to make the best co AI code editor out there. That is our only goal. So I do think, like, I'm feeling all right about this. Um, Gary Tan, my goat. The YC uh, CEO defended us. He said, don't understand why people are dragging a new project when it's literally open source Apache license. That's the reason why open source is awesome. Let's go! All thank right. you, Gary, thank you. Today is Monday, September 30th. It's 9 a.m. right now. It's uh, day one after cancellation. It's still going on. Yeah, we have a meeting with uh, partners to discuss you know, some of the recent events. Six days, not even a week after we arrived in SF. And we got canceled. A lot of you guys probably don't even know what's, what, what we're talking about, what's happening. For those that do and want information, I was orig originally going to make a whole video on this, but it's too much time consuming and we got a lot of stuff to build and, and work on right now. So someone from our community made an entire Google Doc of the timeline of the entire events of what happened. So if you're curious about the entire drama and the details, just go check that Google Doc in the link. But we'll give a quick TLDR for the rest of y'all. People got mad because we are a fork of VS Code and Continue. And two, because we messed up the licensing, but not in the way most people thought we messed up. So our leading competitor is Cursor, so we wanted to fast forward as much as possible for step one to get parity with them. And we've been saying this. We're just gonna keep going and make the best AI code editor with different like we have to answer why you guys over cursor like that is obviously uh, something we, we have to do but we were just reaching step one and we launched and so people were mad at that but then we posted proof and then people were like oh shit they actually been talking about this so that's not like a big thing and then people dug deeper and they found actually that we got licensing wrong that one we did mess up we apologized and we are, are genuinely trying to learn and we made all the fixes that we have to make we've been spending the last three months building on top of this but people just see fork and just think that it's it's copying um i would i see the point if it was just forking and that's it done but no, we are actually continuing to make the best, most innovative AI code editor. So I feel like whoever's just hating on Twitter just don't know us like that. All right, so after all of this, our investors were mad at us, the public was mad at us, and we were actually in the trenches. Perry I was not looking good. Me and Pan realized that the only people that could save us were ourselves. So we were bunkering down, we were thinking of new directions. So come with me. One insight that we had was a lot of companies, especially ones in the same VC as us, they were asking us to integrate and they were building great AI tools, but they still wanted to be part of Perry I because they had one problem. Nobody knew about them. And another thing that we were thinking of is that the next best thing is just gonna come out and we're screwed. So why don't we zoom out from being just a code assistant to being an inventory. 
that curates the best AI tooling available on the market. And we put them all in a centralized user interface so that the user experience is amazing for you and you get to use all of the best tools for coding. Right now, coding with AI is a huge problem with many layers of what we're calling an AI tech stack. And there's an information gap here because nobody knows about these tools, but they are better than each component of our competitor curse. And this Whoa. trend is just- <laughs> you can say that. And at each layer of the stack, there's products that devote all of their time to perfecting this layer of the stack. Uh, autocomplete, file creation, code generation, up-to-date AI search. Yo, we have some ideas of a tech stack here. And we think that this trend is just gonna continue. Honestly, like at the end of the day, it's just, we just want people to be able to make what they want to make. And now when people ask, why you over Cursor? The differentiator is finally here. All right, getting some footage of the pair eye office. We have a whiteboard here. We have a whiteboard here. We have Nang's desk with the three monitors. My brother here oh. is my brother, John. He's going to be here for the next uh, two to three months to help us out film and code. After you see this office, you know that there's no way we can lose. This comeback about to be crazy. All right, so we're about to go meet with my friend Deshraj, who I used to work with at Tesla Autopilot. And he also quit two weeks after me. He was in the previous YC batch and we're in the current one. And he makes a developer tooling thing called Memo. And basically it provides like memory for your AI, for your LLM. We're gonna see if we can, we can get this uh, integration to work with Pair AI. So it just comes built in. Chat request failed. Guys, it worked instantly. And it was so good that the Shraj was so excited he had to run to the bath. But um, stay tuned, we're gonna have Mem Zero and Perry Eye. It's gonna make the prompt a million times better. <laughs> wow. Holy grind. Basically, there's a product called Aider. And right now, it is the best code generation tool. Right now, we're becoming a marketplace, right? So, step one, we reached out to the founder of Aider. It's another open source project. I almost got PTSD, a little bit scared, but their CEO actually said it's great. And that's what we're doing now. One problem with this is that it's a CLI tool which means that it's pretty sweaty. Like I love CLI tools, but I know that nobody else does or most people just don't like it. So in Pair AI, I think there's no way we're gonna make people use a CLI tool. Now we have it in the chat. So there's a UI for it now. It's really good. It needs some work, but um, I'm a bit burnt out now. So I'm gonna take a break, probably go to the gym. And oh, by the way, because we're a marketplace now, we're integrating it and we're gonna keep the name. So maybe we'll call it like creator in parentheses, have Aider, um, or maybe just make it Aider. Like nobody's not gonna know what Aider is, which is part of the stuff that we're doing, right? It's like distribution so that people will actually know what good tools there are. I don't know if you should say nobody knows. That's like disrespect. Nobody <laughs> knows what it is. And one more thing before we actually go to sleep, just wanna say thank you to all the Pair AI community and open source contributors. You guys have actually time and time again saved Perry Eye. Shout out to the community. Anyways, we would not be um, anywhere without you guys and together we are still gonna make the best, most innovative AI code editor. Good night guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.